We have got huge news, my friends. Not only is the lab built, back up and running, and us doing active chemistry, but I have something even more exciting to announce. Our latest addition to the channel is this. This is the Kronos 2.1, and with it, we can shoot at 1,000 frames a second in full HD, or with reduced resolution, we can shoot up to 15 thousand frames per second. We're going to be able to capture some incredible chemistry at very slow motion, and we can do that all while having high detailed shots. Now, I'm not going to lie, this camera was hyper expensive. So if you like what you see here on this channel, something that you can do for free to support our channel is hit that subscribe button, like, and leave a comment down below. Any type of interaction with the video tells YouTube gods to show our video to other people. Now I wanted to kick this off with our first video showcasing this camera and showing just what it can do. After I first got it, I really didn't know exactly how to use it. It's not like a normal camera. It's a lot more involved. So I wanted to do something simple. And to get my feet wet, I filmed this first shot. Now all this shot is, is a beaker full of water and dye that's meant for dyeing epoxy. This one is shot in full HD at 1000 frames per second. Now, after that, I wanted to try something a little more energetic. And I shoot a lot of trap, and I load my own shells, so I have a whole bunch of gunpowder laying around at any given point in time. So I just lined up a small pile on the terracotta plate and also filmed this at 1,000 frames per second in full HD. Gunpowder is a mixture of potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. When it's ignited, it undergoes a rapid combustion reaction that produces a large volume of gases, heat, and pressure. Potassium nitrate serves as the oxidizing agent, while charcoal acts as the reducing agent, burning in the oxygen provided by the potassium nitrate. Sulfur helps lower the ignition temperature and increase the combustion speed. Now I was looking for other interesting stuff to do just for an intro video and that's when we ran into a few failures and actually got pretty frustrated. So the next shot that I wanted to showcase was the iodine and aluminum purple haze reaction. So I made up some new iodine and mixed everything together and it didn't work. And it actually turns out that the aluminum powder that I bought off of Amazon isn't actually aluminum. So I went and bought the real stuff, but that's not here yet. But luckily I did get a really cool shot while making the iodine of the hydrogen peroxide reacting with the potassium iodide mix. Next I had read about how coating a cotton ball in calcium gluconate would make it burn very quickly. But I actually didn't find it to make a difference at all and I had bought the product in the wrong form. I had bought it in an aqueous solution when it needed to be powder. So the only good thing that came out of that is I used it as an excuse to actually use the Rotovap. And the Rotovap fired up great, uh, it works really well, it's nice and steady, the heat bath works just fine, and that went really well. However, of course, uh, it made no difference in the burning of the cotton ball, so... So what I decided to do instead was a little test tube reaction. And I ended up capturing some pretty good shots of the reaction between potassium permanganate and glycerol. 
All you needed to do here was mix the two together in a test tube, and a short while later, the mix spontaneously combusts. In this reaction, the potassium permanganate acts as the oxidizing agent, while the glycerol serves as the reducing agent. The glycerol is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water, while the potassium permanganate is reduced to manganese 3-dioxide, potassium carbonate, and water. Thank you so much for watching this first official video back. I hope you're excited as I am about the Kronos and what's to come. With everything from ultra slow motion energetic reactions to making Cubane to making God knows what else. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.